In this video, we're going to take a look at the slider in jQuery. Now, I will tell you that I've updated to the current releases of the jQuery UI and the main jQuery library itself. Now, I will also tell you that I have tested the code that I'm going to show you in this lecture against older versions of jQuery, and it works just fine. So you can really use whatever version of jQuery you want. But if you want to have the exact same version, I will give you the links to the download. So I downloaded the stable version of the jQuery UI right here on this page. And then for the main jQuery library, I downloaded the uncompressed development version 3.2.1 and again I'll give you the link to this download in the description of this video so if you want to make changes in your website folder you should rename your existing folder to underscore old or something like that and then bring down the new version of jQuery and just rename the folder to jQuery UI and then here's the version I'm using jQuery 3.2.1 but again, pretty much any version you have will work with this code. And then really the only change you need to make in the HTML source is right here. You just specify 3.2.1. And again, you may already have this version. So let's get going. Now the first thing we want to do is go ahead and decide where we want to put our slider. And let's go ahead and put it inside our main div. So we're going to put it right here. So let's go ahead and create a div. And let's give this a name of slide. Really original, right? And then for now, we don't really need any text. We just need to close the div. Okay, good. Now let's go ahead and work on our jQuery code down here. Of course, we need to grab our ID that we're specifying. And in this case, of course, it is slide. And then the function we call is slider. That's all we need to get an initial slider. But before we do that, let's head over to our style.css and let's go ahead and put some margin around our slider. So let's just copy and paste this right here, this ID of test. And of course, we need to specify our ID, which is slide. And again, all we want is a margin of 10 pixels. So that works out good. Make sure you save your style sheet. Let's head back to our index.html. Let's save that. And let's go ahead and fire this up in Chrome and let's see what we get. And there you can see, we've got our slider. Take a look at that. Works nice. We have our margin around it and that works great. So let's go ahead and close this out. Now there are several useful options that you can use with the slider, and I'm going to cover several of those over the next several videos. The first one is the orientation property. Now, if you remember, we need those brackets to specify an option in the jQuery UI. And the first property we're gonna take a look at is the orientation property. And basically what we can do is actually flip the slider. Now the default is horizontal, which we just saw, but what if you wanna flip it vertically? Well, all we have to do is specify the keyword vertical here. So let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and save this. And let's launch it in Chrome and see what we get here. And there, take a look at that. Now the slider is vertical. So that is the first look at the slider in jQuery. Now, as I mentioned, there are many more options with this. And the first one will actually allow us to create what's called a range slider. And what that basically allows you to do is move the slider and pick a number. And so that's what we're gonna create in the next video. 